Get me. Greetings, it's your girl, best-selling author, Queen Goddess of the Happy to Be Nappy Show. Everything that comes from the crown shop, and I'm your host. And today's show is a reference to, if you're here, you're here is your garden. It's your garden eating. And what happened here with this brother right here, if you can zoom in on his towel, you see all his dirt, all his stuff, this is coming from his locks. His locks is filled of builder. See the builder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, way more, but I use my herbal mist. The herbal mist gets rid of it. His hair was like gray. See? This is all builder in the locks. This is what beeswax and black gel does to your hair. Because your hair doesn't eat it. It's not a it's not a hair food. And it causes a lot of and so your towel end up looking like this. Really nasty. See that towel? This is what's on your locks, you know? And so now he's gonna get a nice aloe to twist them up. And a nice butter. That's organic and natural. Plant. I'm gonna twist them up with all plants. And get all this book out of his hair. Okay? So if your hair is busted, you got his hair fix it www.happytobenappy.com We have organic, happy to be happy products. The herbal mist took out all this gook because it has organic apple cider vinegar. And then we have the magic hair grow for y'all who want the long level locks. And then we have the for dry scalp. So if your hair's busted, we can fix it. We're going to hook this brother up. We're going to get all that dirt and debris out and make him nice. His wife adds some spice to it. Come over here, babe. We can see the end of this part. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's, you could see it on there. Wow. You're cleaning that shit out of there, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so on that note, you see it? Mm hmm. See that consistency? That is the buildup. And this is what happens to your locks when you put that beeswax and black gel on your hair. Okay, it doesn't eat it and it makes it a mess. So we're gonna clean up this mess and I'll be back with you in five, four, three, two, one, baby. Peace. We're back and we're twisting up his locks. We're seeing the evidence of the gel build up when you twist them with the aloe and stuff and this is what it is this is what you get when you put that crap in your hair so don't put it in because each strand we're going to do another one let's do another with the aloe demo watch this little shea butter and there it goes the crap that's in his locks, that, that gel, look. As you squeeze it, as you squeeze it, look at that. So, zoom on me. This is what you have in your hair when you put black gel and beeswax. It's very disgusting. The locks cannot eat it, it's not a food. You saw it for yourself, look at the towel, okay? This is your hair. This is what you're doing to your lovely locks. You're destroying this beautiful garden. And this is a very lovely garden right here. However, this garden has been contaminated. Awful alcohol-based gel. We don't want this. This brother doesn't want it. That's why he's in my chair. Because he wants to get it out. Doesn't want it. As we go and we see, look, there it is. It comes up. But I've washed so much out and I've gotten so much of it out. So this is what I've been telling you about. This way you can see it for yourself and you can know for yourself. That, that way that you guys are doing it with the gel, it's wrong. It's not right. It's nasty, it's dirty. It makes your locks dirty, full of gook and debris. Look at it, all the way down to the lock. It shows you what section it has it all in. Pure gook, just gook. See that? See that when I took the towel? Look at that. And most locticians come in front of me, they, um, 
they don't take out the time to um, really clean off the locks. They just pour more gel back on there. They play oblivious to it, like they don't see it, and they just twist you up. Nasty. Okay, so there's a lot of people walk around. That's how many people think that our locks are dirty and nasty, is because of the cook that's in it. See that cook? See that build up of cook? This is what you people are having for putting black gel and beeswax in your garden. Okay, look at how nasty your garden gets. You see that? See? Wow. So, if your hair is busted, Queen Goddess can most definitely fix it. Keep out the black gel and beeswax. Stay true to your plant. Cause this is your garden, this is your plant. An organic, natural. Like aloe, his hair can eat this aloe and it vanishes, it evaporates in his hair, not leaving any bills up. This is a butter, this is a light shade, but just a little bit, just a little bit. And you see how I guess his hair shine mm -hmm. at the top? You can see my product, but my product is mixing in with the gook. So what I have to do is get the gook out, find a clean part of the towel, clean, watch this. Clean part of the towel. Take it all the way down and look what you get. This is what you come up with. This is what you guys are walking around with your hair. Okay? So if you got somebody gelling, tell them stop gelling. The gel is no good. You saw a demo for yourself. Okay? So this way I don't have to hear no oohs and ahs. This is what it does. You saw it firsthand for yourself. When you put it, I'm always talking about it. Now I finally gave you a demonstration of what happens when you put the stuff in. This is a perfect demo. Look at that. Okay? You know, so don't do it. And remember, if your hair's busted, Queen Goddess can fix it and we'll be back. Final result of his hair being plant-based, not gel, alcohol-based, cookie-fied, yucky-fied. Just plain old ass <laughs> See you in five. Two and one baby. Throw some shade on me. Greetings, it's your girl, best selling author, Queen Goddess. We're back. This is the result of the black gel beeswax on his hair. We took it all out. We can look at the towel and see. This is how your hair will be when you use crap in your hair. You see your garden? This is your garden. It doesn't need this on top of it. Because all while he's walking around and his hair is full of gook and dirt. It's really dirty, it's nasty, it's no good. So now you know, this is what gel does to your hair. I haven't showed it, this is the results of it. Now he's gonna go into the dryer, we're gonna dry it, take it out, braid him up. He is now gel free. You see, if I was a normal loctician like most that gel you up, He'd have had double dirt on top because they just put more on top of it. They would have twist him up, put him under the dry, and he'd have double, triple this. So know that. And on that note, we'll be back in five, four, three, two, one. And the herbal mist assists getting all this out. Keeps it debris, debris and lint free and dirt built up. So you want to get that. Happy to be nappy will not leave you like this, nasty, and yakky, and just disgusting, okay? Peace. Greetings, we're back. It's your girl, best-selling author, Queen Goddess. Everything that comes from the crown shop around the host. As you can see, this was the brother that had all the built-up debris and, and um, was real nasty build-up from the, the gel, and as a result now, I'm gonna put the happy to be happy uh, oil on his hair and scalp. You can see his hair is so nicer now. It's so cook free. Did you want to say anything to him, brother? Yeah, she did a real good job on my hair. It was busted. It was dirty. And now it's ten times better. Do you do you like the aloe plant based product yeah. as opposed to the gel? Yeah. How did your hair feel with all that gel on it? It felt heavy and like, like it was hard to keep, keep my hair up. But and most of all, it makes the hair dirty. Yeah. 
Remember the towel.